Welcome back, collectors. Today I have a very special treat for you because I hardly ever do this on my channel. But today we're going to be reviewing a crane model. Specifically, it's the WSI Liebherr LTM 1750-9.1 mobile truck crane. This is offered in a variety of different company liveries. This one is just the plain Jane Liebherr OEM black and gray color scheme. On the side... Here's all the information that you need to know, such as the WSI logo and the product number, which in this case is number 08-1113. And on the back of the packaging, you can see a very nicely replicated photo of the real truck crane. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and unbox this crane and see how it looks. So, as I mentioned, this crane is done in a variety of different company liveries. An example of that is All Crane, and this crane is also produced in 1 to 50 scale. So, out of the box, you have, obviously, the crane, bag of parts, which we will go into momentarily, two counter blocks, counterweight blocks, and then the main counterweight mechanism itself. Alright, so, in the parts bag, a few different components. First is a key with Liebherr on it, and this is used to turn the winch mechanism to raise and lower the winch on the crane. Next, we have a locking pin, which locks the counterweight onto the back of the crane. And finally, the last two pieces are just a couple of mirrors which fit to the front of the crane. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way and do that now. I will say with these mirrors, my suggestion to you is to use some putty or something along those lines, or if you really want to, I guess you could put a little bit of glue and glue these into. But these mirrors will pop out very, very often problem is the, the holes are too big, so the fit is very loose. So again, if you want to get around this issue, my suggestion is, again, to use one of the, one of the different ideas that I had just mentioned. But just to show you how it looks, we'll go ahead and put them on. And hopefully, at least for a minute or so, they will stay in the holes. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do. To save some time, we're going to pause the video. I'm going to get these pain in the butt mirrors in the holes, and we'll come back when that's done. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. With some considerable effort, and only kicking a few small animals around, just kidding, we have the mirrors inside the truck. Now, I have no idea how long they're going to stay in, but now you can see at least how the profile of the truck looks with the plastic mirrors in place. They do have a silver finish on them to give them the illusion that they are reflective, but in fact, again, that is just paint. So, we're going to get out ahead of this to prevent them falling off in the middle of another part of the review. We're just going to take them off right now. Next part of the assembly is we're going to put the counterweight on. And I've found one of the easiest ways, or the probably the easiest way to do this because once again this is another little bit of a hassle is the tolerances here where the pin goes through can be a little bit thick with paint so put the counterweight on before you put any of the blocks on and then attempt to lock the pin in just seems to be a little bit more effective and uh, quicker to do it that way than it is to attempt to do it while you have the, the heavy blocks on. So, all right. We've got it on enough to show that it will stay on there. Now, let's put our blocks on. So, as many of you know, in the real world, all of these are an individual piece. And these are set to a predetermined weight, depending on what the crane is lifting in the real world, to help prevent the whole thing from tipping over. 
and they just sit in there like that. So when the crane pulls up on site, first thing that it needs to do is to safely deploy its outriggers. So I kind of think this is an ingenious way to do this, especially since modeling compromises have to be made in this scale. I, I really think they do quite a good job. So the way this lowers, if you look right here, there's a little bit of space, and that's how the outriggers um, deploy and how they raise and lower. So you swing them out like this, and then you push down on them, and that's how they go from the raised to the lowered position. They do make crane mats and stabilizer pads in 1 to 50 scale. I assume that they make them as well in 187 scale, so if you really wanted to have a very realistic pose, you can have um, additional spacing between your outriggers between your outriggers and the the ground, the face of the ground, so that the crane is actually off of a level surface. So with the outriggers deployed, we can raise our cab up and out, depending on where the, cra the crane is looking. We can lift the boom up. Now the 187 scale version, unfortunately, just has one telescoping section. So let's give us a little bit more slack here. And this is the key that you use to lower the, the winch. Let's give us a little bit more slack before we do this. That should be enough. And you can extend this out. To there. It will automatically lock at full extension. To lower it, this little back black button here, push in and pull down at the same time, and that's how you lower the extension section. And that is as high as the crane will go, which is very good because, in fact, like I said, it is out of screen. It's so good. All right, now just to show you once again how you lower the crane, let's go ahead and bring this section down. So here's the button. I'm pushing in on the button, and that section comes down. Obviously, the crane will spin 360 degrees. like that. Just got to be careful that you don't clash the cab with any of the outriggers and things that are down. So let's bring the winch in. I'm trying to not block your view when you're doing this. And by turning it, you can raise the winch up. Now the brake on this is pretty decent for 187 scale. So you can lift loads. Like if you have, for example, um, pieces of skyscraper beams, for example. And I know that there's a, a Walther Scene Master kit of a skyscraper building that's being erected. You could very easily pose this machine lifting that, and with the counterweights in place, it is strong enough that it will lift those up. Um, so it makes a very realistic diorama, and it's quite an impressive crane, honestly, for 187 scale. The fact that the outriggers work, they raise, they lower, you have the option of your counterweights, how you set those up. To me, it is a little interesting that on the other side of the counterweights, the graphics seem to be higher quality on one side versus the other but there you have it the tires are rubber 
There's no steering or any of that. None of the steering has been modeled. The doors don't open. Uh, any of the other smaller details that you would expect a WSI model to have in a larger scale. Uh, again, not here in 187 scale. But if you are looking for a mobile truck crane, a larger mobile truck crane, look no further. This is quite a good example of one. But you guys let me know down in the comments section below what you think of this model and uh, perhaps what's one of your favorite mobile cranes in uh, 187 scale. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up here soon. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.